How can we make an 8N publicly accessible? For this, we obviously need to have an 8N locally as using it through the website is already public. And on the other hand, let me explain what we're going to be doing when run locally, as you can see, the link shows localhost here. This means it's hosted locally, so we'll be the only ones able to access this workspace. This is great for privacy, but for things like webhooks or integrations with WhatsApp or Telegram, being local means they can't connect to our computer as it's not cloud-based. If you notice with other APIs it might, or rather webhooks for Drive and Gmail work as Google adapts, but some other programs don't, okay? So what should we do? Well, we're going to use VS Code, okay? This program here. We'll open the terminal, type N8N, and you'll see it's ready on port 5678. The port is these digits here, 5670. Go to port, click forward, enter 5678, allow GitHub, and continue. Great, we have the port now, okay? We'll have this link that we can see ETR click to open. We continue. And it indeed takes us to our N8N. I'll log in here so you can see that even though the link changed, it's still the same, okay? The million dollar question, does the previous one still work? If we refresh, we see that it does, so we won't lose the previous one, don't worry. Now, as you can see, the visibility is set to private, meaning we're still local. It's easy. Right click on visibility, select port visibility, set it to public, and we're done. It's now public. It's that simple. Let's open it with control click to show you it worked. I'll create a workflow and when I make a webhook you'll see it's still localhost, okay? Uh, we need to type this code in the terminal. $n $n webhook underscore URL equal sign this link, okay? This is the link they gave me here. Got it? HTTPS blah blah dev tunnels to MS and uh, npx and 8n, okay? So we take this and send it. First stop an 8n with control c, all right? Now let's set up the webhook. There, the process initializes. Note, this only affects this terminal, okay? It won't affect other terminal. When you close and reopen, it's gone. Now check the webhook, you'll see the link has changed, okay? This changes things locally online via VS Code Terminal without ngrok. There you have it, hope it was helpful.